Welcome back to American Agenda. Well, we are talking Taylor, but you knew we would, right? It's time now for the other view. Well, T Swift continues to dominate headlines from big media, calculating if she can make it from her Tokyo concert to Las Vegas in time to watch her boyfriend in the big game, to football fans still hate, hate, hating, to politicians speculating if the big game will be rigged to set yet another stage for Swift. Joining me now to discuss the host of Newsline, Bianca De La Garza, and the former vice chair for the New Jersey Federation of Republican Women, and the host of Money Talk with Melanie, Project 21 volunteer Melanie Collette. Great to have you both with us. Such a hot topic, so we're going to dive right in. All right, Bianca, let's, I know you talked about this on your show, so I know you have some thoughts here, but let's start about this whole concept of a rigged game. It's a big rumor. Former presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy took to X, wondering if the whole game will be a setup for the Chiefs to win, to pave the way for an epic Taylor Swift, Joe Biden endorsement. Now, she did endorse him back in 2020. She made some cute cookies. There they are. But I don't know, Bianca, do you think this whole concept is far-fetched or do you think it's legit? I think that there's something bigger going on behind the scenes than just football. Uh, I used to cover Super Bowls. I was part of the New England dynasty when we focused on the players, Tom Brady, the GOAT. And now we're talking about T-Swift and her boyfriend. I think, first of all, the relationship is manufactured. It started right before the season. And look at all the endorsement deals. This is a marketer's dream, a PR person's dream, and now apparently Joe Biden's re-election dream as well. It's such a distraction. They will probably break up after, yes, he wins the Super Bowl. That's my prediction. Very, very I'm sorry. interesting. I just, she's a Democratic plant. Uh, yeah, well, you heard it. Okay, you heard it here first. That, that's uh, Bianca's prediction. Now, Melanie, <laughs> it's interesting because a lot of people say they hate Taylor Swift dominating the airwaves for the NFL. I know other people, fathers, have said, you know, I love it because it makes my daughters want to hang out and watch football with me. So there's, there's kind of a, a double take there. And, of course, there's the money. We're going to get to that in a minute. But first, Melanie, the New York Times reports, let's talk more about the politics. The Biden administration is actually discussing a Taylor Swift strategy and Newsweek actually polling to find out if Taylor can sway the 2024 election. I guess to Bianca's point, they found 18 percent of voters said they were more likely or significantly more likely to vote for a candidate endorsed by Swift. I don't know. Remember, during midterms as well, with a single post, she did inspire 35,000 of her followers to register to vote within hours. I don't know. It's, it's, I think, good and bad potentially here. Melanie, pop culture has had a part in politics for a long time. This seems to even transcend that whole Oprah effect in the Obama era. I just would want to say that I want to hang out with the 55 percent. So where it has no effect whatsoever, as well it shouldn't. You are very blessed if you are uh, so just clueless about what's going on in the world and what's going on in public policy and politics that you can uh, have Taylor Swift be the person who sways you either way about um, who to vote for. The, the fortunate thing about this poll is that it looks like it's a bit of a wash uh, it, when it comes to the number of people who would be influenced by a Taylor Swift endorsement and the people who would not be. So mm -hmm. that, um, you know, is, is just like that's, a that's happy a, surprise. That's a good point. I, I just thought anybody who would be that just made me roll my eyes a little bit. But let's get to the money, because whether or not you like Taylor or you debate if her liaison with Travis Kelsey is a publicity stunt, which Bianca thinks it is, you can't debate the money here. Now, the pop star worth now an estimated $1.1 billion. Everything she touches turns to platinum, and we're not just talking about the records. Check this out. The Apex Marketing Group estimates that Taylor Swift is worth an equivalent brand value of $331 million to the Chiefs and to the NFL. And also, the AP reported that when she attended her very first Chiefs game back in September, the sales of Kelsey's number 87 jersey rocketed 400%. So, you know, lover or hater or thinks she's where she shouldn't be, Bianca, I mean, in the end, it kind of is all about the money. And we're talking about the NFL here. 
Yeah, it's always about the money, right? Follow the money, money trail. I mean, it's so, so astute that we point that out. And also, we know how terrible flying and the experience of flying can be. Well, after uh, Kansas City Chiefs won the AFC Championship, uh, American Airlines created a flight, and they actually had 1989 as one route, Kansas City to Vegas, <laughs> no Taylor way. Swift's. And on the return, his number 87. So even the airlines are trying to get some good PR glow from all of this. But I think that the issue is, too, it's like, how much have we fallen that people are that still in this cult of celebrity? And I do think that's like the bigger point here is if if, if Biden does roll up to a Taylor Swift contest mm -hmm. and it does actually play an effect, how sad is that for our nation? We got to get back to critical thinking. We right. have to get people stopping, you know, to drink the Kool-Aid, get yourself away from the legacy media. Um, and again, I, I do say the relationship is fake only because some of the things before, like he sent her some bracelet back in June. She had no interest right until before the NFL, and she had to do her movie, remember, based on the tour. Sure. I just think there's too much money not to do it. And in Hollywood, you know, Katrina, you know, Melanie, that's what sure. they do. A lot of people yes. get together for I, a short time. I'll say a lot of it does seem, I, I don't know, I think of Tom Cruise, but I'm going to let that one go. I'm not going to talk about any couch jumping on this show. Okay. <laughs> Bianca Della Garza, <laughs> Melanie Collette, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it.